Hey, what's up guys? Today I have a really awesome Halo Infinite campaign video. Today I'll be showing two high value targets, Akro Vagadun and Briglard. Hopefully I didn't mess up their names. So basically the idea of these enemies are they aren't your typical enemies. They are a little bit more special. They have a health bar. They have extra shielding. You know, they're a bit of a tougher opponent. And they also have special weapons that you cannot get anywhere else. I love the idea of these. It is really cool to have these kind of more special targets around the map that you can choose to go and hunt down if you so please. You know, they're an enemy of the UNSC. They are something that all Spartans should be kind of wary of whenever they're in close proximity to them so taking them down will probably be a good idea overall another really cool thing about these high value targets being around the map is that you can kind of go about killing them however you want for this first guy i decided to go kind of all guns blazing i just jumped directly into the combat just to kind of be a little bit more aggressive to show you guys a bit of the combat in the game maybe not the cleanest kill ever a little bit sloppy but you know as long as i get the kill in the end that is all that really does matter or if i want to be sneaky if i want to be a little bit more you know tactical with my gameplay i could definitely do that even if i wanted to wait for nightfall wait for the time of day to change i could have done that if i you know wanted to it offers a lot of variety to the game which i really enjoy the game does a really fantastic job of kind of giving you many different things to get up to in your spare time when you're not just exploring or doing a main campaign mission if you want to take your time to take out these more powerful enemies you can do that or if you just want to ignore them and get on with your day you can totally do that as well as you can see in this gameplay i did start to become a little bit overwhelmed by okro you know these bosses are not a pushover they are not simple i am playing the game currently on heroic difficulty so i can't even imagine how much tougher this will get on legendary but you know that's something exciting for me to experience whenever i do eventually play the game on legendary which i will probably do on my live stream after december 8th when the game officially comes out so make sure you go check out my twitch if you have never done that before i'm going to be streaming basically every aspect of this game a 100 playthrough of halo infinite's campaign whenever i am able to live stream it which i am very very excited about but as you saw i did eventually kill okro there and i picked up his energy sword which is a little bit more special than your regular swords that you could find around the map so that is very very cool but i am going to show the other high value target which is not quite as scary as an elite but maybe even more terrifying in their own special way but you'll see what i mean in a moment whenever that comes up That's right, Briglard is a grunt, but you should not look at a grunt and automatically think, oh, what a pushover. Yeah, they might be small, they might be a little bit whiny, they might be typically very easy to kill, but you never know, you know, Briglard is a high value target, you know, the UNSC fears Briglard enough to put him on a list of targets that need to be taken down, so you never know, you never know the terrifying acts this little grunt has committed, okay? And that's what I really enjoy about this, you know? I think the lore of these characters is super interesting. I love that it actually adds a bit more depth to the, you know, the enemies of the universe to see them in game like this and kind of give you the ability to take them out yourself. You know, obviously in the lore, they've done something horrible, but Briglard here, unfortunately met his quick end with a single sniper headshot. But just like Okro, I could have went about this in any way that I wanted. Again, I could have waited for nightfall. I could have waited until whatever time of day I wanted. Or I could have used whatever weapon I wanted to kill him. I opted to go for the more long-range sniper tactic. Just because, you know, it's an easy, quick, clean kill. But again, it's really cool that you're able to do these in whatever way you want. So after that, I went about, cleaned up the rest of his little base here took out the rest of his buddies just to make sure that this area was totally clear you know you never know if a little marine was to come by this spot you don't want him running into a little grunt where an elite he's kind of waiting for his you know entire squad to come back that i've unfortunately wiped out once you do that you get your objective complete i notice this little plasma pistol on the ground which is his special weapon so i grappled that up to myself and of course it's white it's a little bit different it's a little bit unique looking but yeah, that's two high value targets in Halo Infinite. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you're brand new. And more Halo Infinite content coming very, very soon.